Hey guys, Veronica here. After making these spooky pumpkins with my friends, um, I'm gonna show you how to paint fake blood on your arm. Cause it's coming up on Halloween. And I'm gonna keep it in my hand. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's my friend. You guys all remember Pikachu. Mm -hmm. So, hold the camera please. Um, so, here's my wonderful arm. Okay, and uh, make sure you're using watercolors for this. Um, she made her pumpkin have a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure they don't have to be notified of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pretty noticeable now. Okay, so you're gonna take a paintbrush for um, and watercolors because watercolors are easily washed off if you want. Um, and they're not harmful, well, so <laughs> well, they're not toxicated really. So you're just gonna sort of drip it on your arm and just sort of let it flow. Rip. And afterwards, I'll try it also. Yeah, she'll do her arm too. Dab it down, make it look real as you want. See, the red, it looks real, but not real enough. So I'm gonna it looks like you just use the marker. Yeah. And so then you take this purplish red, and you drip it, like so. Like over the red, just mixing it. So then, see, look, it looks more real, because blood is darker than an average red. But it's definitely not purple. So then if you think you put too much or you want to erase it, always just wipe it off with a wipe or water. And uh, yeah, you could just let it drip if you want. Uh, let's see, look, it looks, get over here. It looks real, like this was the source. And if you really want to do it real light, you could add a little bit of black at the end. To make it look like you cut it's not that much, <laughs> but like, blend it in with a little bit of purple make it look like you have a scab or something. So yeah, then you have like blood running all the way down your arm. And I think it looks cool. And if you don't want it that long, just take a regular brush and just sort of brush it off your elbow and stuff. And uh, wipe it off. And then, but you'll still have a little bit of the drip left. So it still looks like there's blood running down your arm. And I think, that it's just really cool. Um, you could do it in any way you want. And I'll show you a couple more cuts later after my friend shows you hers. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna step on your face. Sorry. How are you gonna step on my face? Well, I kinda already started this, but you know. Um, let me get the fine tip. You can speed this one up. Or not, I don't really care. You gotta instruct them. So I just um, use the paintbrush to use a red to. It's a uh, fine tip. Yeah, fine tip. As you can obviously tell. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> and so I use the red to draw it on, and then. Um, I don't really care about directing it, because. And then. drip it because then it combines and then I take the purple out. I'm kind of a, a makeup artist because I do this a lot people I use latex and stuff so I know what to do water and I drip it. Dripping it makes it seem like it's combined. It also makes it like drippy and blood like. Mm -hmm. Like a pro at camera angle in this. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep. Okay, now you take the camera. 
Once my arm starts bleeding. Ready, ready, ready. I'm gonna look it. Dude! <laughs> you, dude, that's paint! Oh god. God. Well guys, that was interesting. Right? Very interesting. You could have told me this. You, you should have known. God, you, you should have known. Is my tongue purple? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay. So next, I'm gonna be showing you <laughs> a um, cut, sort of on the outside of your arm, slant works. And I'm I don't know how to do this, so I actually like, burn something. Yeah, so you take a fine tip, just like before, and you take sort of the same thing, um, and just sort of like make it a natural dash, slant work, like this, as if you actually got cut. And try to make it as straight as possible. And then if you always mess up, Take, um, try to make it thin though, and take just a random paintbrush and just try to make, like, rub off the dots and stuff. So, yeah, use a little bit of orangish red to do this, and um, depends. You can make it however you want. This is how I'm making it. Then use some um, the purples that we used earlier and blend it just. Um, don't like streak it like I did on oh, mine. Just sort of um, lightly brush it, and the colors will just naturally blend to a blood like color. And um, you can make it bigger if you want. And uh, then you're gonna take a teensy bit of black. You're not gonna take a whole bunch of black just to. In there, and then take some regular water and just dab it. In. Just blend it. Just blend it like in um, Pikachu's example. Then, if you already need more red, go in some more red. And I recommend sort of brushing it both ways so then the colors blend more. Yeah, more. Simple. Also, if there's like a dab gathered up, that's fine. Just brush it. Easily and just blend the colors out. It's fine. <laughs> then um, and then if it looks too dark, uh, you can always lighten it with some white or some more red, like this. So it should turn out something like this or thinner. It depends on however you want to make it. But yeah, you could always just do like that. Uh, make it thinner by uh, brushing a little bit off of the nail or uh, earlier I might have accidentally exited out and stopped recording but I got most of it trust me okay well we could just edit it yeah okay see so yeah simple now I'm gonna hand the camera back over to the kitchen right after I wrap this <laughs> I think I'm gonna edit part off where you eat to paint. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so here's my earlier cut dried. So. <laughs> Don't mind earlier. Okay. So I'm going to do it on my scar that I have right now. Right here. Yes, I have the I love you because of my work. Oh, snap. <laughs> um, so as she said, I'm going to take some red. Probably not healthy. Okay, let's restart that. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. You like touched my ear. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so just do that. And you can even see my scar. It's kind of disgusting. <coughs> Who cares? 
Makes it make, seem more realistic, go. I have a feeling you're doing something. Drip. I said drip. <laughs> I said drip. Ah. <laughs> this is our whole setup. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't mind me. Zooming in on the arm. <laughs> I'm very concentrated, that's why I'm not talking. So... Oh, <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> oh god, don't do that. Oh <laughs> Am I dumb or something? <laughs> you could always, like, wash it off. If you do that, like, by accident, just take your wipe finger. it off, or do something. Also, don't do this on your blank table. <laughs> If you might mess up. Oh my god, I just messed up. We're yeah. pros, we've been practicing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> We're so freaking pro. I just messed up my whole thing. Whoa, no. it looks like you just have a tear. Yeah. I just, like I really cut myself bad and it's dripping. Okay. Colliding. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Okay, next we'll be on our legs. Once this stops tripping. Okay, next is on our legs. Dun 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 dun. Beautiful, sexy young leg. Are you recording? Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay then. Next I'm gonna show you how to make it's a cut. It's dripping still. I'm gonna make show you how to make a cut on your leg. Um, so yeah, basically just all the fours. Start with that. Start with the nice red. I should have a bruise on my knee, so. Yeah, she's sort of. Boop! I know how she did. And... I can't roll up my pants, though. They're skinny jeans. <laughs> no, I will not strip down. Okay, um... This is um, a weird Halloween video, but I just wanted to do it. Just slant it. Sort of like a little bit to like dry blood. If you want to make a goopy... Use glue. glue. Yeah, use glue, but... Uh, don't just use Elmer's or something like that. Um, only use um, tacky glue if you're doing it on a permanent object. <laughs> Such as my pumpkin. Or my pumpkin. Anyways, back to my leg here. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so take some, like, just keep, a, you wanna make it really thick with the red to make it look like you have a giant tear. These are good if you're being like a zombie for Halloween. If you want a bunch of bloody stuff on you. If your school allows it. Yeah, if your school allows it. Because some schools, they hate bloody stuff, so then they don't allow you to do it. They just like, no, 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 too dangerous for little kids. Well, there's any little kids in a high school, I don't understand that. Seriously, I don't understand that. Then just make a, a big tear like this. After you're done, so it looks like a sh big streak, literally. And then make the purple like just before. Do the same thing, just sort of brush it with streaks. Um, you don't have to use a thin brush for this, but it's more precise. Um, you can use like a bigger brush if you want to. Just keep, just keep blending. But you don't want to wipe it all off, so you can grab some more red um, and like just sort of dab it like so, or some orange, like a little bit of orange actually, and uh, just mix it with the purple and red. It'll create a nice um, tissue, sort of blood-like tear, in my opinion. Just keep painting it. Just keep like, and if it's a little bit skinny, 
in one place. Um, try to show 